What's up, Sunday fam? Welcome back to another video. A big two episodes for stardom. Let's talk about it. A huge, huge bomb drops at the end of episode nine. The main attraction, right? The 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 revelation. She found out, and I kept on like. Say, thinking in my head how it would play out mm -hmm. and like I thought hey maybe maybe Dosan's gonna tell her he's gonna make it on time because they had both set out just to tell Dami the truth of the situation of course and I was like please please let Dosan make it on time make him tell her the truth first but it just didn't play out that way yeah it turns out that a small little lie Although, in the very beginning, when Dalmi was super young, mm -hmm. avalanches into such a huge problem where she could end up super hurt, like just insanely devastated about the revelation of it all. Yeah. And, you know, Dosan himself, you know, it was only supposed to be a one night stand, right? Like a one night stand, like a <laughs> one, one time night, thing. A one time thing. It just kind of transforms into something just. It just snowballs and avalanches, and at the end of the day, just don't hurt Susie. Like, yeah. that whole sequence of events just made me tear up, and I was just like... Ugh. So much crying. You know, it's, it's such an impossible situation to be in, right? You don't want to hurt Susie, but then this one-time thing with her, we know all about just falling absolutely in love with <laughs> Susie. It's like, it's an unavoidable thing. And I think Miss Jung kind of says it best or puts it into perspective the best. Like, you know how um, Chul Sun and Young Sun were having conversations like, you know, Do San was just trying to help her out, make her happy. And I don't see what he did wrong. And she's, and then she, you know, kind of put him in the spot. And he's like, I have a crush on you. He's like, oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, and he got fooled. And she said, I was just lying to make you happy. And then they were like, oh, that's right. She, do she totally put it in perspective in terms of what was so wrong about it, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it's like, hey, Dosan did his best. It was like, you know, the guys, their brothers, they're going to be like, together forever and all of that stuff but like that was really wrong like what Dosan actually did we'll find out you know we'll find out what happens in the end one of the biggest revelations part of the biggest revelations is Hanjip Young confessing his feelings to Grandma Choi absolutely uh, not to Grandma Choi but well I mean it started out with Grandma Choi in yeah. episode 9 and I was Admitting. totally feeling it yeah like I was totally feeling him he was like why not me? Like, I was the one who wrote the letters. I was the one responsible for the Dalmi that it is today, right? It was like, why am I being left behind? And and that he's totally right for he's, feeling he's, that way. Yeah, he's definitely valid for feeling that way, but the, the answer is pretty simple. He, he wasn't honest with himself. And so when you're gonna say, I don't have feelings for her, I'm not really invested in this, you know, I'm just trying to help out uh, Miss Choi because I'm indebted to her, and then just like, it creeps up on you, and then you're like, Oh my gosh, she's suddenly with someone else. Why am I being left behind? Because you didn't, you weren't honest with your feelings. And on top of that, you know, in response to her finding out, he meets her at the, this Bibim Guksu place. Uh, they have some noodles, he's mixing it up. And he's like, I like you, by the way. I'm just being I honest. Know, he, was, he was just like so nonchalant about <laughs> yeah. it. So that's why like for me, like when I'm watching this show, I'm just like, I'm so rooting for Han Jip Young. But then at the same time, I was like, Dude, you'll be fine. You might be feeling, you might have these feelings now that you're in love for the first time in your life maybe, but like, you're rich, you're you're successful, you got everything going on in your life. Like, this could be just selfish reasons of why you're doing that. Obviously, it's not because he tried to do the honorable thing when he <laughs> sent the text message to Grandma Choi. Dami happened to just ha happen to have yeah. Grandma Choi's phone. So all of that kind of divulged and kind of trans transcends into like where we are right now he did the honorable thing but still in the inside still i feel like he'll be fine but really the biggest question out of all of this is can a simple lie a white lie be as damaging as as it can be you know like I how how far can it get it really depends it's that old saying where it's the the purest of intentions but the the worst of executions mm. where you have you have these intentions right you you want to help dumb me be happy, succeed, and just not cry, right? The simplest thing um, that he, he listed, uh, Dosan listed for mm -hmm. helping her. But but 
you know, throughout the course of this lie in making her happy, I mean, you have to feel for Dalmi's um, perspective where all of those happy and elated feelings and success feel fake to her. Like this was all done for this and it wasn't just like a, a making of her own. Yeah, all of the sequence of events that happened uh, before all of that, it kind of solidified hit her relationship with Dosan, the day at the beach with Grandma yeah. Choi. That was just so awesome and it was so beautiful. They shared a tender moment under the stars with the metaphors, with the moon. It's like you, you want to be as bright as the moon as much as you want or as much as you can, but you know, sometimes it's okay to be the star in a distance that is just as big or if not bigger than, than the moon but you have your place. And I and I feel like that that was such a difficult situation for Dosan to be in because he was having his troubles with his parents, not knowing he had made Dalmi the CEO, so he was kind of afraid to go home and face them. Um, but at the same time, he's lying to Dalmi, but Dalmi's not lying to him. And all she's saying to him is just like everything he needs to hear, right? The, your parents and anyone who doubts you needs to see you as this bright star that's right now looks like a dust particle compared to the moon, but you're, but in actuality, using his analogy, you're actually much, much larger than the moon. Her analogy. Yeah, that was her analogy. It was, her, it was her analogy. It was his analogy correcting her, initial, oh, right, her right, right. initial one, and so yeah, he's larger than the moon. And that kind of brings us into Dosan himself. Like mm -hmm. he has been lying his whole entire life, basically. He cheated ah. on 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 the on the math competition. Therefore, like his whole life, his parents, his father especially, has just been his pride and joy. My my little Dosan, who's like the the math Olympiad uh, champion, yeah. you know, the youngest, but, the youngest. But he's been lying the entire time. Although it was just like one question, okay? See, so like yeah. it's it's not really that big a deal. But like little white lies, they just kind of compound on top of each other, and then it ends up hurting people. Yeah, see, there's a little gray area there for me. I think a little bit of moral ambiguity. Uh, see, I don't think he intentionally cheated. Like it, it, it fell in front of him. I don't know what, about you, but if I was taking a oh, massive exam yeah, and that. something fell in front of me, I was like, oh, I saw, that? Yes. I saw that answer. <laughs> I, I definitely saw that answer. I'm not gonna look at my test and be like, no, let's forget what I just saw. You know? <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna be like, yeah, that's cheating. <laughs> no, but he has, uh, he's carried this burden yeah. like his whole entire life and you could totally see it. Kudos to his acting as well. Like just yeah. a, a couple of episodes, these two episodes were just tear jerkers. Like I cried a, a couple of times like here and there, but you know, Dosan himself has just kind of been facing this type of burden his whole entire life. And now in front of him is the love of his life Dalmi, and he's doing the same thing. Yeah, Dalmi is, as he puts it, or I don't know if he intentionally put it that way for Dalmi, but that's how I took it when he said, I made a wrong turn into fireworks. And I think whether he was talking about his, you know, entry into Sandbox and, and making Dalmi the CEO, and finally everything is moving for him in his career, I also think that that means that he made like a really bad choice to just partake in this charade mm -hmm. and he, he fell in love. He, he ran into fireworks and, and now he just doesn't know what to do because like she's valid in her feelings and he, you know, he's valid because obviously his feelings are real and nothing is fake, but it's just this, this veil of, of inauthenticity because it's based on that lie. And on top of all of this stressful stuff that they have to deal with, this love triangle, uh, the lie, is just, they have to prepare for this demo day, right? <laughs> they still gotta go to work at the, in the morning, you know? Mm. How do you deal with that stuff? Being awkward, losing your confidence, being confused about feelings for, for two people? But and before, wait, wait, yeah. hold on. I wanna ask you guys if you've ever fallen in love of if, or if you've had a relationship at work and seeing how uncomfortable and awkward that might be showing up the next day. Leave it in the comment section below. I know it's a little bit a personal question, but that is use how you relate names. to it. Use, <laughs> use fake names. So we're preparing for this demo day. You got to go to work the next day after you've had this huge revelation. You've got to, you know, stay professional. Mm -hmm. But of course, Dami has lost her confidence. She's getting nervous um, and she's kind of like, trembling at this she's on a tightrope yeah she's on a tightrope as she says and you know like i really actually appreciate hanjip young at this stage mm -hmm. of the show because 
not only does he have the fortitude or the professionalism or I mean he like I said he'll be fine you know mm -hmm. he could be hurt by this like love triangle that he's caught in but he will be absolutely fine you know but the way he offers up some kind of assistance into this situation is like don't be intimidated when you go up there it's like just just don't worry about how big this company is how big this investment can be make your pitch and really only worry about the people who might find value to what you're doing Absolutely. and then you know everything will be uh, will be successful i kind of feel like this show is sort of like a therapy session where mm. han ji pyong is trying to find his Dosan and Dalmi, mm. where he he can love again, he could be emotional and express himself. Mm. And Dosan and Dalmi are trying to find their Hanji Pyong. They're trying to find their confidence, mm. their their bravado wow. and their willingness to just go out there and do what needs to be done to make their dreams come true. Wow, that was just mind blowing right there. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. It was just like like, which do you choose? You have to have both mm -hmm. in order to succeed in life. You have to have enough empathy in life to have care and love with the people around you, but you also need to be strong enough and have the will to uh, forge on into a really, really competitive field, mm -hmm. which is tech. And that was just like, oh, pfft. that yeah. was amazing. Quick question before we move on to this final thing. Mm. Who does she choose? Well, I just want to touch on like, who Dosan. do you... <laughs> <laughs> well, who do you blame for all of this, right? Like, do you blame Grandma mm. Choi? Do you blame Dosan for, like, making it into even bigger than it was? Or do you blame uh, Han Jip Young because of the letters that he wrote? Um, so, bias warning. Uh, I, I would blame Miss Choi for starting the thing. And then I would blame Han Jip Young for doing the thing. Mm. And then I would blame Dosan for contributing to the thing. But at the same time... <laughs> But at the same time, uh, Dosan didn't actually want to do this, and he was kind of dragged into it. But his, mm. his, he read her letters. He fell in love, like semi, you know, mm. to a degree, just off of those words. And then he chose to do it, you know, without any payment. You know, he, he kind of went on his own. Yeah. And so, like, I think when we're talking, when we're kind of apples to oranges here, or apples to apples, like Dosan is the lesser culprit compared to the other mm -hmm. ones. She's gonna choose Dosan. Ah. <laughs> no, I mean, I agree with you. I think she will eventually choose Dosan, but if there's anybody to blame, I don't think there's anybody to blame here. I think it's just life. Yeah. Like, Grandma Choi decided to do something, to do the thing, mm -hmm. and then Hap Jik Yong, Hap Jik Yong, Han Jik Yong. <laughs> Han Jik Yong. Han Jik Yong decided to contribute to the thing, and then Dosan, you know, added to the thing, right? But like all of those things, all of those ingredients combined is what made Dalmi who she is. That's to be true. Frank. Yes. It's, it's her North Star. Whether she was down or she was lacking confidence, she needed some kind of sign in her life to move on. This was her North Star. And she asked in the episode, what, like if, if everything was fake, it might have been a white lie. It might have been a lie that kind of turned to something bigger, but I don't think it was any of it was fake. You know, yeah. it turned her like she's more powerful. She's more beautiful. She's more like empowered, like independent, strong woman that she she's is. a CEO with mm -hmm. the product that people desire. And, you know, as much as you can say everything is based on a lie, you like you can't lie that, you know, if you got into Sandbox based on your your own credentials and your own merit. It's what made her who she is today and the person that she fell in love with might have been the person from 15 years ago but it's dosan mm -hmm. like looking forward looking at the person in front of you it's dosan yeah i mean it's it's a literal incarnation as much as i want Hap <laughs> Hanji as much as to, you want Hanji, yeah. you, know, you know but he's he'll be fine he'll be he'll be fine yeah it's a literal incarnation of this like you are uh, an amalgamation of all of your experiences in life, good, bad, and ugly. Well, speaking of choices, I think Chulsan and Miss Jung is about to... Be a couple. Uh, be a couple. Are you shipping that yet? Because... <laughs> uh, I've, uh. I've been shipping it, um, but like... I didn't expect that scene. So, you know, I, I, I shipped this couple because it's an awkward couple and clearly one was, was avoiding and one was chasing. Right? Mm -hmm. Chul Sun was chasing and Miss Jung was just like, ew, get away from me. Uh, but I did not expect her, I guess, her to be tantalized by Chul Sun's, <laughs> oh. Chul Sun's oh. like, oh. 
he, he's like, he's like, he's like, take your hand away. And then she was like, oh my God. Like, you know, sometimes, uh, I don't know, ladies, you can comment in a section below, but uh, being chased and avoiding it or trying to, you know, do that, whatever you can to prevent the chase or, I, I don't know. I think there's something about the chase, right? There's yeah. something about the thrill of it. At the end, Chol Sun did everything that he could. And then when uh, Miss Jung realized that he's gonna stop doing that, all of a sudden, I think her motions just kind of fluttered yeah. all over the place. And it's like, no, like, like yeah. don't stop doing that because I really enjoy it. And I think their relationship is gonna start to blossom from here on. I agree, but we have now the last oh. revelation oh. that I did not see coming oh. whatsoever. Oh. Oh. As much as as many, as much <laughs> theory crafting as I do with Star Wars, Marvel, and all kinds of other fantasy stuff, I did not theory craft Young Sun to be the brother that Whoa. wants his revenge oh. from Sandbox, in particularly oh, from Han Ji Pyong. Like, now we know it's not just Miss Yoon or Sandbox or any kind of like entity that caused uh, his brother's death. Han Ji Pyong had a direct impact, whether it was hearing his pitch and just being really, really harsh <sighs> about it. Like, how is this gonna play out? You know, we were kind of just like, it was like left in the background. There was a small tease in like episode five or something like that, or one of those earlier episodes. I don't remember, but we were like, who is this person? Who is like the person that's trying to seek for revenge in one of those uh, wall of dreams in Sandbox, right? Mm -hmm. And like, there was no possible way that we could even theorize that it's Yong Song. Yeah, I mean, the the person they were teasing, right? All like brooding. We should have just been like, well, of course. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I mean, I wanted to, but uh, like it hit me. I mean, he was watching as I was watching. I was just like, oh my God, I did not. Oh my God, I did not <laughs> see that coming. Like Young Sun, he, mm. he's he's an awesome dude, man. He's very helpful. He's he's very bright and happy and joyful. I mean, they had that time where they got into that argument at the beginning of the startup stage, but you know, they all came back. But the tease that they showed with this guy that wants revenge, he's brooding, he's lurking in the shadows, his hoodie's up. We can't possibly mm -hmm. put two plus two equals four, it's young son. Yeah. I mean it's now now like what do you guys think about this? Like how does this play out? I mean, I think Miss Yoon should have revealed the name to Han Ji Pyong in, you know, just because she found out. Mm -hmm. She found out it was reported to her. And so she would have, she should have actually done the good, you know, honorable thing and warn him. But we should have like, like we were just so caught up in Susie's romance and all of the craziness that's happened there. Like we totally forgot about that part, but he, he goes into the elevator and it was just like so intense. like. I do the same thing when I feel like I'm threatened. I look behind me. <laughs> I'm, I do this. Now they're in an elevator and it, the wall is right there. It's kind of like when I'm threatened, you know, like there's nothing there. Like there's no escape. It's you're in an elevator. And when that happened, I totally was just like, very, oh, oh, shit. <laughs> very claustrophobic feeling. Uh, so what does Han Ji Pyong have to do now? Is he like they, they literally cut that episode off when mm -hmm. they were still in the elevator. You know, I think um, I think Young San's going to have a little bit of heart because of the Plan B that uh, Han Ji Pyong offered. Yeah, that's true. I mean, one of the things that he said in response to that is like, "You're very generous and you're very kind." They didn't expect that from you, especially mm -hmm. after you killed my brother. And then, like, he started tearing up. I think when he was trying to um, when he was holding Han Ji Pyong up against the wall. Um, that could be the case, but I mean, I just don't want to take anything off the table at this point. Yeah, we don't know, but I think it's going to be okay. He'll be fine. You know, Han Ji Pyong will be fine. Young Sun is probably starting to realize just how difficult and how cutthroat this industry is. And so, you know, some people's mental states are a little bit frail and, you know, bad things can happen. Quick thing, I think Miss Yun's going to dedicate that demo day to his brother. And then he's just going to be... Ooh. I forgive you. <laughs> oh, well, that's no, I mean, that's an interesting, uh, yeah. interesting prediction. In any case, guys, that is it for us. This is our review and recap and reaction just to so many tears, so many different types of emotions for Startup Episode 9 and 10. If you like this video, leave us a like, smash that like button like you mean it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Call on to your ancestors and ask them to help share this video yes. <laughs> if you liked it. That is it for us. Thank you so much for stopping by. 
and we'll see you next time.